Using phrasal verbs in your conversations makes you sound like a native speaker. In this lesson, we'll be exploring 8 incredibly useful phrasal verbs from our favorite TV show, Friends. Let's get started. Come back. To return to a particular place or person. Look, I'm asking a favor here. You know, I'm thinking if I do this thing for her brother, maybe Angela will come back to me. Come back. To return to a particular place or person. My mother was scared that if I left home, I'd never come back. Sarah has left me and there is nothing I can do to persuade her to come back. Look, I'm asking a favor here. You know, I'm thinking if I do this thing for her brother, maybe Angela will come back to me. Think something through, think through something. To think carefully about the possible results of something. Okay, bye. Well, Monica's not coming. It's just going to be me and Rachel. Oh. <laughs> well, hold on there, Camper. Are you sure you've thought this through? It's laundry. The thinking through is pretty minimal. <laughs> Think something through, think through something. To think carefully about the possible results of something. It's my fault, I didn't think it through. I didn't think through the consequences of promotion. I need time to think things through. Okay, bye. Well, Monica's not coming, it's just gonna be me and Rachel. Oh. <laughs> Well, hold on there, Camper. Are you sure you've thought this through? It's laundry. The thinking through is pretty minimal. <laughs> pick up something, pick something up. To buy something or get it from a shop, etc. Also, it means to collect something from a place. See, it's just you and Rachel, just the two of you? Yeah. This is a date. You're going on a date. No. uh <laughs> Yeah, huh? <laughs> so what are you saying here? I should shave again? Uh, pick up some wine? What? Oh, and uh, the fabric softener? Uh, okay, okay. Now what is wrong with my snuggles? <laughs> uh, I, it, it, it what? It says I'm a sensitive, warm kind of guy, you know, like a little fuzzy bear. <laughs> All right, I can pick something else up on the way. Pick up something, pick something up. To buy something or get it from a shop, etc. I picked up an evening paper on the way home. For more details, pick up a leaflet in your local post office. Another meaning for this phrasal verb is to collect something from a place. As in, I'll pick my things up later. She came back to pick up her books. See, it's just you and Rachel, just the two of you? Yeah. This is a date. You're going on a date. No, uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, huh? So what are you saying here? I should shave again, uh, pick up some wine, what? Oh, and uh, the fabric softener? Uh, okay, okay, now what is wrong with my snuggles? <laughs> uh, I, it, it, it what, it says I'm a sensitive, warm kind of guy, you know, like a little fuzzy bear. <laughs> All right, I can pick something else up on the way. <laughs> pick up is one of those phrasal verbs that has many meanings depending on the context. Let's learn one more of them in this video. Pick up somebody something or pick somebody something up. To lift something or someone up. For example, the phone rang and I picked it up. He picked it up the letter and read it. Mommy, can you pick me up? Monica picked herself up and brushed the dirt off her coat. Run over somebody something. Run somebody something over. Where are they? Where are they? If this is nice, we never do anything, just the two of us. <laughs> That's great. Maybe tomorrow we can rent a car, run over some puppies. Ew, I don't want to do that. Run over somebody something. Run somebody something over. To hit someone or something with a vehicle and drive over them. For example, he was run over and killed by a bus. She got run over outside the school. 
The box was crushed when the car ran over it. You can always run him over and make it look like an accident. Where are they? Where are they? If this is nice, we never do anything, just the two of us. <laughs> That's great. Maybe tomorrow we can rent a car, run over some puppies. Ew, I don't want to do that. Blow off somebody something. Blow somebody something off. Oh, we got the proofs back in that photo shoot. You know, the one with the little vegetables? Anyway, they pretty much sucked. So I blew off the rest of the afternoon. I went shopping. And <laughs> I got you. Blow off somebody something. Blow somebody something off. To treat someone or something as unimportant, for example, by not meeting someone or not going to an event. Lucas got into trouble for blowing off the meeting. I blew off class this afternoon and went to the mall instead. Tom and I were supposed to go on a date tonight, but he totally blew me off. Oh, we got the proofs back in that photo shoot. You know, the one with the little vegetables. Anyway, they pretty much sucked. So I blew off the rest of the afternoon. I went shopping and <laughs> I got you. Grow up. To develop from being a child to being an adult. Where did you guys grow up? Brooklyn Heights. Cleveland. Ha! <laughs> How did that happen? Grow up. To develop from being a child to being an adult. What do you want to be when you grow up? I grew up in London. So, where did you guys grow up? Brooklyn Heights. Cleveland. Ha! <laughs> How did that happen? Make up something, make something up. If you make up something such as a story or excuse, you invent it sometimes in order to deceive people. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I wasn't being clear. Uh, this was our car. Hey, 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 there weren't any clothes in it. Hey, 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 quit making up rules. Let's go. Oh, Come on, this is my car. You know, I thought it was... oh, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I wasn't being clear. Uh, this was our car. Hey, 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 there weren't any clothes in it. Hey, 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 quit making up rules. Make up something, make something up. If you make up something such as a story or excuse, you invent it sometimes in order to deceive people. For example, I think it's very unkind of you to make up stories about him. I'm not making it up, the character exists in real life. He made up some excuse about his daughter being sick. I told the kids a story making it up as I went along. You made that up. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, maybe I wasn't being clear. Uh, this was our car. Hey, 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 there weren't any clothes in it. Hey, 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 quit making up rules. Let's go. Oh, Come on, this is my car. You know, I thought it was... Rip somebody something apart. Rip apart somebody something. If something rips people apart, it causes them to quarrel or fight so seriously that they can no longer be friends. It also means to tear something to pieces. Hi! Hey, Hi. how'd it go? Excellent! We ripped that couple apart and kept the pieces for ourselves. <laughs> Rip somebody something apart. Rip apart somebody something. If something rips people apart, it causes them to quarrel or fight so seriously that they can no longer be friends. It also means to tear something to pieces. For example, he was ripped apart by savage beasts in the forest. The dog got a hold of my report and ripped it apart. Underneath this image of normality, Addiction threatens to rip this family apart. Hi. Hey, Hi. how'd it go? Excellent. We ripped that couple apart and kept the pieces for ourselves. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks and see you in the next one.